I'm the Wolfman, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And today we are going to talk about the Mill Spec Plus Great Northern Camp Stove. Take a look at this. How freaking cool is this, man? Uh, the first thing that we need to do, it comes in this little tiny drum-like thing. We're going to need to put it together. So uh, let's put it together and take a look at our features. Look at the smoke. I mean, this thing is a big ball of smoke. There's uh, there's like a vent or something right here. And uh, yeah, we got smoke spewing out of the back. And uh, yeah, look at that, eh? So I'm not 100% sure how good this would really be in the, um, in kind of like a tent or hot tenting for winter because uh, obviously that's, uh, <coughs> wow. That is not an appropriate amount of smoke. I mean, it's billowing off into the distance. Uh, really crazy. So. Uh, well, let's take, let's take a quick look at the front end here and see how the front is working. So we're doing okay at the front. As you can see, uh, we've got a nice fire going. I'm gonna close that up. I'm gonna open that little vent there. And uh, they give you these little tools. There's like a little hook and like a little scraper thing, which is kind of nice. Let's see if we can try to get the smoke down. Um, just how, sort of assuming that maybe, maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't know, look at that. Not, uh, maybe this type is different, but I'm still seeing tons and tons of billowing smoke coming out of the back of this thing. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a great stove, right? I mean, if it was in an environment where it isn't going to do that and it's not going to billow out everywhere, it's going to be a good product. Uh, you know, there's, I can feel quite a bit of heat coming out of the top uh, and it's going to be suitable for cooking. The only thing I'm noticing right away is on the top, it's starting to, uh, it's starting to bleed and starting to come, uh, all of the paint is starting to sort of bubble off, which me leads me to believe maybe it wasn't painted with the proper kind of paint. I'll let you have a closer look at that. So now that the paint has started to bubble off on this, and again, I can see the paint coming off right there. Uh, and all of the massive amounts of billowing smoke, which could be for any number of reasons. Uh, maybe there's some paint on the inside that was smoking and bubbling. I can feel the heat from this thing, and it's a pretty cool day. It's only like a couple of degrees Celsius. Um, the one thing that I really love about this, and the reason I chose this stove over many of the other uh, military type stoves that are on the market, is look at this, it's got this, this rack on the top, right? So it's got these, and uh, you know, it's probably hot, so I'm not gonna touch it. It's got these that use that work as a carrying handle, but they also work as uh, you know you can hang things on them right if you had mitts or something that you wanted to dry you can also take your cookware you can cook on this stove like that's pretty awesome you know like i'm a really passionate uh cast iron cooker and i love cast iron and look at this i can put my cast iron teapot or my frying pan anything i want and i mean i only put that on here a couple seconds ago i can already heal the feel the heat coming through so it's definitely worth probably the $120, $130 that uh, you would probably spend on this if you were to, uh, to buy it in the store. But it's a great little stove, all in all. Um, so there are a few things to be careful of, of course. If you're using this in an indoor environment, such as a hot tent, be, be wary as you could definitely see. There was a lot of smoke coming out of it. Uh, and the other thing, of course, is be prepared to have to repaint it. Uh, because what seems to be happening is the paint that's on here um, isn't really lasting. And I, I can kind of see it starting to come off. But uh, all in all, a really great stove, definitely worth the value. And um, one of the concerns that someone had was, is this thing stable? Obviously, it sits up off the ground, right? So if I take my little pusher here and we just give that a pull, look at that. That's, that's pretty stable. You know, if someone bumps into that inside, uh, inside your tent or whatever on your expedition, you're not going to have any trouble with it. Uh, like I said, the biggest number one thing I definitely can see an issue is, uh, is that paint coming off because I can scrape that right off. It's a great product. Um, again, this is the, uh, the Northern Wood Stove uh, by Millspec Plus. 
and uh, you can buy these. Uh, this one uh, came from the manufacturer, but you can buy these, you know, at all different places, including, I believe, a, a place called Princess Auto. So I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing.